A safety data sheet, or SDS, is a safety document that chemical manufacturers must provide with all chemicals that they produce. Additionally, on chemical containers, there must be hazard labels with pictures indicating the hazards inside. Welcome to this week's safety discussion where we're going to learn about the safety data sheet and how to read those chemical labels on chemicals such as these. A few years ago, chemical safety information was written on what was called an MSDS, which stood for Material Safety Data Sheet. Well, nowadays we call them SDSs, or safety data sheets, but the information is essentially the same. The important thing to remember is that you have a safety data sheet available whenever you're using a chemical. Well, let's take this Rust-Oleum Rusty Metal Primer and see if we can't find the safety data sheet here at ASC. In the shop, Safety data sheets are stored electronically on desktop computers. You can find desktop computers throughout the shop. Simply walk up to one and look for the safety data sheet icon. It's a yellow icon with red text. Double click on that icon to open up the safety data sheet spreadsheet. It's gonna pop up asking you for a password. You can ignore that and click read only. Once you click read only, it's gonna open up a spreadsheet and you can scroll through that entire spreadsheet to find the chemical you're looking for. Or, if you'd like to save time, click Control F to open up the finder. Once the finder is open, type in the name of the chemical you're looking for and click Enter. It's gonna go straight to that chemical name. Once you're there, look for the blue text, which is a link, and click that blue text once. A safety data sheet has 16 sections from the chemical product information to the composition, the hazards, all the way down to the regulatory information and other important information to do with health, flammability, and reactivity. After reviewing the chemical safety data sheet, you can also check the chemical label for a reminder on the hazards that chemical contains. For example, let's take a look at this red hot blue glue, which has a picture of a flame a picture of an exclamation point, and a picture of a person's upper body. The flame indicates that it's a fire hazard. The exclamation point indicates that it's a low risk health hazard. And the person's upper body indicates that it's a potential respiratory hazard. And I'll also put up on the screen some other less common hazards that you should be aware of. Finally, if you transfer a chemical from one container to the other, remember to transfer that chemical label as well. That's going to ensure that someone walking along seeing some interesting looking liquid inside of a bottle doesn't make a mistake and confuse it for something else. Well, that's it for this week's safety discussion video. I'm going to put my chemical away and end with a reminder that this month is Eye Safety Month. Always remember to wear your PPE because over 2,000 eye injuries occur in the United States alone and most of them occur because a person isn't wearing the right PPE for the task that they are doing. That's safety glasses, a face shield, a welding hood, and even goggles. All of these are important tools for protecting your eyes. Have a great rest of your week, guys.